little like that with them. Hey, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm sorry, sorry if it sounds echoey in here. Um, I'm recording in my temporary closet. Um, I'm currently in ROM right now. I'm gonna do a separate video on my ROM ROM experience. Um, but this video is about my a school hospital corpsman experience as well as um just like some things on what to expect if you're you are going to be a hospital corpsman if that's your rate um if you're currently in a school if you haven't left for boot camp yet um all of those little things and also just like like i said my experience and how i felt about it um i graduated on the 18th and i didn't post the video this friday i was supposed to post a video but um i was kind of going through the emotions and stuff of me not of me being by myself um again for well not again really this is the first time that i'm by myself um for the holiday because like thanksgiving i was able to be with some of my friends and stuff so it didn't really feel like I was alone but now that I'm in ROM and basically just like by myself in a room for you know two weeks I'm kind of like feeling it a little bit or I was feeling it and I was like I just can't even post anything and I don't want to post nothing so yeah um so the first thing I want to do is I just want to talk about the stuff that you're going to more than likely deal with going to um um hospital corpsman a school right now i don't know if it's going to change because you know COVID. but um so when you get to san antonio because that is where this a school is when you get to san antonio um you're gonna get on a bus from the bus you get off the bus and then um you're going to arrive um at the barracks um, there will be people there to meet you um, and then uh, you I'm trying to remember then we took our stuff to we got our rooms we left our stuff outside and then um, we went into the um, the multi-purpose room the NPR um, and we got our room assignments and then after we got our room assignments we were able to put our stuff in our room now the first set of people or the set of sailors that you are going to meet are going to be your nmtis um your nmti like team so you have like a chief you're going to have your um your main nmti that's going to be in charge of your class um and then you're going to go through basic life skills with um your class and with your nmtis you're going to get to know your nmtis you're going to um learn like m things like money management um you're gonna learn basic rules um things that you can do um that you can do in a school and the things that you can't do in a school you're gonna learn about phases and different things like that and i'm not gonna really go into talking about phases just because when i was there things were changing because of covid so our phases kind of like meshed into each other at some point um after um basic uh like life skills or whatnot no during basic life skills i think that's when um class leadership is chosen and then when you take your first test that's when the epos are chosen so epo is the education petty officer i'm lying is it am i lying actually i think that is what that is i'm not really sure if that's what that stands for i think that is what that stands for i feel like i should ask somebody right now but um yeah so you sh the epo is chosen like after the first test so it's usually the people that have like the highest test scores that get that um they get that position and then you have like your lpo which is the person that's in charge and the alpo which is the assistant um assisting leading petty officer i believe that's what it is and um 
they assist obviously then you have your cpcs um they deal with like administrative stuff they're like if you go to boot camp then you'll know what a yeoman is and basically that's what a cpc is um then you have your ma's which are your mess at arms which is um i feel like it's kind of self-explanatory but just in case you don't know what that is um the ma is basically the person or the people that maintain um order and discipline within the classroom or within um the the class in general um so in core school your division is called a class it's not called a division in boot camp it's called a division um what else um are there any other positions am i missing i feel like i'm not missing any oh then you um during uh pt uh which during pt you have i believe your athletic petty officer and then you also have like your religious um the person that is like the religion liaison um so when you get to class you obviously meet your second set of uh people that are in charge of you and those are your instructors for your class um your nmti's wear a rope your instructors don't don't wear a rope um but yeah meet your instructors that are in charge of your class and your um your team because like there's there might be two or three different classes to one team um and then like the most senior class is the senior class and the the class below them are the baby class baby class um so great um if you want to be in the top 10 percent or if you want to be on the dean's list there are certain things that you have to maintain and that like you can't mess up on um i messed up in the beginning like they had me in the first half okay so all i'm gonna say they had me in the first half um I did wind up finishing with I think a 92.7% so I had a good GPA but I messed up in the first half so I did not make the Dean's list. Um, so if you want to be top or whatever make sure you're studying make sure you're studying everything make sure you're studying so what I started doing was I would study for the next test the day that I passed my last my last test so if I pass the test today I'm studying for the next test today um but yeah basically make sure you're studying make sure you're focused and like outside um distract distractions aren't distracting you because that can really take a toll on you being able to remember things or the way that you process certain things that you need to be able to process so you can't fail any test you can't um be recycled out which means go to another class um and then obviously you have to have like um well you can't fail anything to be on a dean's list um and then obviously you have to have a um a gpa of a, i think 92 percent or higher um so the things you're going to learn is like basic life skills um basic life support um basic nursing documents um trauma medicine obviously and then there's like 11 or 12 tests something like that 11 or 12 tests that you have to take um the class length i'm like honestly it depends on i guess what's going on at the moment for like how long the classes will it take um and then when it comes to choosing orders or choosing c schools um first of all if your reserves for us i don't know if this is like a this is how it is all together but for us reserves didn't go to c school 
unless it was already written in the orders and then if you already have a c school written in your orders those are your orders and i mean written in your um in your contract that's your contract that's the c school you're going to you're not it's not changing regardless of how high you place in the class or anything like that they're not going to change your c school um what else um how to balance schoolwork and personal life so the first this kind of goes into the phases but like the first two phases or whatever you can't really do anything um especially right now you can't really do anything so you have nothing to do but study um so it's kind of easy it's easier in the beginning for you to maintain uh it being focused um when you phase up to phase three you have a little bit more liberty um so then it can get a little difficult but what i suggest you do is monday through thursday sometimes monday through friday um or friday like before a certain period of time it, you take time out to study throughout that entire time and then you know friday night saturday you have like some uh fun time or party time or whatever you want to do and then sunday you study again because it's not like one of those the corner rate is like the most decorated rate in the navy right it's not like um one of those things where it's like okay i'm not saying any of the rates are not important but it's not like i'm saying okay i'm cooking food I don't have to do as much i don't have to study as much as me dealing with helping someone's life or saving someone's life potentially you know what i mean so you kind of want to know what you're doing or like different things like that um so graduation i graduated and i'm really happy about that because like i said they had me in the first half i i was kind of questioning it at first i was like i'm not gonna make it what but um i made some really cool and some i made some really good focused friends in um in a school and i'm happy i met them and i'm happy i was able to study with um a lot of them and i definitely feel like i made it through because of some of those people um but okay so I kind of talked about C, C schools, but I didn't really talk about C schools and choosing orders. I just kicked out and went straight to um, talking about the reserves and the contracts and stuff like that. So when it comes down to like choosing orders, when that time frame comes, I think the top five got to choose first. Um, um, but with that out of the the way or whatever um you're either going to be able to choose like west coast east coast or one of the c schools i suggest that if they tell you that they need to fill c school um billets i suggest that you um you choose a c school so you at least have a choice somehow and where what you're learning you know what i mean and like there's some star programs where um you come out automatically for at the end of it and then there's also some programs where like you get so many credits that you're able to get an associates um in a certain area once you finish the program so these are things that i feel like you need to think about before um going to boot camp in general and then also while you're in a school but i feel like if you say for instance you know that you're going into the navy and you don't think that you want to stay in the navy for 20 years for a career or whatever and you know you want to get some type of schooling or some type of education out out of it if you think you're interested in the medical field if you think you're interested in anything you should do research on it but if you're interested in working in the medical field i would suggest you trying to do try to become a corpsman uh, a lot of people feel like it's not worth it because there's a lot of us so there's a lot of us it's harder for you to rank up but when you're thinking about it thinking about it from the the long-term perspective and not necessarily in the moment 
um not like how fast you're gonna rank up in your rate if you're thinking about not being in that long anyway then it still is beneficial it's beneficial even if you are thinking about ranking up it's just that it might be a little bit harder or tougher but it's still beneficial because all of the the things you learn the the the, the history around it the the fact that like you get so many credits from so many different things the fact that you um can get an nec or you can get a c school right out of a school and then there's other things that you could do outside of it um there's other things you could do out outside of um your just your c school also um so you get a lot of education benefits out of it and yeah that's what i think why i think it's um important why i think it's one of probably the the best rates or been the most beneficial rates um now i'm not sure if i said this in one of my videos or not before but i want to be a lawyer right so the fact that my uh, my job has nothing to do with law right now is kind of like okay but why did you choose it i kind of didn't want to do it at first and then like i wasn't doing that well in the beginning of the course um like i said and i was getting kind of defeated because it made me feel like all right maybe i'm not smart and like i made my heart's not in it because this isn't what i want to do but then i did i yeah if you see my video about me being in boot camp for six months then you know i had i've already gone through the struggle and i was not trying to go to core school and struggle more as far as like i'm not trying to go to tmd and there's nothing wrong with like not being able to hand to do something um and like having to figure out to do something else but for me it's more so like i kind of feel like my heart wasn't in it in the beginning and i just was kind of like going through the emotions of like well i either i do i i pass or either i fail and if i fail i, I just get another rate and then i thought about it and i was kind of like that's really not that's not even my that's not even my personality to like allow myself to fail something like that's not even my personality at all so it's not like i was doing it on purpose like consciously but subconsciously i like thought about it and it was a lot of stuff that i was going through at the time like um in my personal life where i was just like i can't even handle this and it's, it's like i couldn't i felt like i couldn't handle it at the moment because I didn't want to handle it and it was also like i can't handle this at the moment because all of this stuff is going on right now i can't do this um but then i was able to kind of like figure it out and i was like i don't want to go to tmd and i don't want to go to i don't want to go to tmd and i i want to finish something on time or at least close to on time and i want to be able to say that i i was able to do this so i did it um <laughs> yeah so at first it was a little shaky um but then in the end you know i came through um so yeah my a school experience was interesting obviously because covid um i didn't really have like off base liberty and stuff like that like they normally do um but I definitely, I have fun still. Like, weirdly, I have fun. I met a lot of people that I'm happy that I met. Um, that I'm probably going to be friends with for a long time. Um, yeah. Like, and I graduated. I graduated and I have pictures that say that I graduated. <laughs> um, but right now, I am... I think the only thing for me that really like kind of was sad was the fact that like I wasn't able to see my family like my sister and my nephew um really that's it my sister and my nephew 
for like I haven't seen my sister in almost a year um and I wasn't able to go home for Christmas either so um they called me on FaceTime and we did like I virtually opened my gifts um and then Thanksgiving one of my friends cooked food um so I was able to eat but it was we were still stuck on base but I was able to eat something that was close to like homemade um food for Thanksgiving and it's just something that you kind of got to get used to when it comes to the military you know what I mean when it comes to um things like this because you're there are going to be times where you you're missing holidays and you're missing birthdays and you're not going to be with the people that you love but the people you meet definitely become like family to you and i'm happy like i said that i met some of the people that i met because they definitely are like family to me now um so yeah that's it um i think that's it let me I asked my friends to send me questions that they felt like I should answer. So I'm just going to look through it really quick to see. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. One, one more thing. Try to PT if you can. There's a gym on base. And, uh... Yeah. So try to PT if you can because... We still got to do that PRT. So, yeah. Make sure you do that. And then. And then. Hold on. Uh, did that already? Did that. Um, the weather. It's pretty hot in texas kind of like all year round like it didn't snow at all i haven't seen snow since last year because i'm in pensacola right now but i haven't seen snow since last year um and also my next video that i think i'm gonna do is going to be um a quarantine vlog kind of it's not really gonna be it's not gonna be like the entire time that i'm in quarantine but just what am i doing in quarantine <laughs> um i did put makeup on my face to do this video and that's probably the most interesting thing that i've done since i've been here but i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go if y'all have any questions about um core school or anything like that you know like comment subscribe you can um follow my instagram and you can shoot me questions on my instagram because more than likely i will get back to you faster on my instagram than on youtube um yeah i think that's it bye